Hi, welcome to Pictures, Nose and Words. I'm Hedgie and this is Black Lakes. Um, song called Avarice. Black Lakes are a band from South Wales. Um, so not that far from where I live. Um, another great band from Wales was Anterior. Um, now defunct, but I always, I sort of take the opportunity to mention Anterior every chance I get. So every time I mention Wales, I mention Anterior because they were brilliant. Anyway, that's not important right now, because they've been defunct for quite a long time. This is Black Lakes. They've got an album for all we've left behind. I think this album has been out for a a while. Has it? Uh, I should have checked. I think the album's out for all we've left behind. But anyway, this is a song, Avarice. I don't know this band. I got this recommended to me by the PR company and then I've listened to like 10 seconds of it to make sure it's something I might be interested in and we're going to discover together. Oh, after, after Black Metal Week last week, uh, you know, but we'll come down a notch I think. <laughs> I don't usually pause videos. Um, I used to in the old days, but I don't do it anymore. But I just did because the first thing that struck me was, wow, that, that production is so bright.
Yep, certainly different to Black Metal Week. Um, that production is so bright that even on the heavy bits, it was robbed of the heavy bits, if you see what I mean. Yes, there are heavy bits and they're clearly there, but that, but when the, there was literally a going through the, through the production and, and it was, it, it kind of almost made me want to take my earphones out. Um, however, that was a, a deliberate choice because this is a really well written song, I think. If a little generic. So there's a lot of work gone into it. They clearly know what they're doing. It sounds good. Um, and it would be very, very friendly to certain types of media like MTV Rock or whatever. Is that a channel? Anyway, those sorts of things um, that, that, that play a video and everyone can have a good jump around because I you wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to stand still if I was if I was listening to that. I put it on in the kitchen while I'm doing something. I'd be absolutely because it's got great melody and it's got all of that sort of thing. You can hear a great big butt coming out here. <laughs> so I'm bigging it all up. Um, so my, my my problem with it is so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, they've made deliberate production choices, I think, to make it. it it's like it's not just clean. It's like. It's just super bright. That's the best way, you know, the best kind of way I can describe it. So they made deliberate choices about it. They've got these great, you know, even I'll be singing, you can't eat money. It's got, it's got good hooks and all of that sort of thing. But I, for all of that and all of the great musicianship and he's got a great voice, reminding me of Mike Tramp, um, if you know who Mike Tramp is. But that's who I immediately thought of. He was in a band called Freak of Nature. He was in other bands that are far more famous than Freak of Nature, but it was Freak of Nature when I when I liked him, <laughs> if you like. Um, anyway, he reminded me of from Mike Tramp, which is not a bad thing. So, of all, so all the elements are all really good, and they're obviously very professional and all of that. But I cannot shake the feeling I've heard this song before more than once. It's got a, something generic running right through the soul of it that, that just makes me go, eh. So it's like a song that I can enjoy when it's on. And if it came on my car stereo or came on the radio or whatever in the kitchen, and da, 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 I would enjoy it and I would have a dance around. But when it was over, maybe a couple of listens and I won't be able to get, but you can't eat money, I won't be able to get it out of my head. But on one listen, I can't help feeling I've heard this song before. Um, more than once from more than one band. So it's got this, I'll say it again, it's got a, it's got a generic spine running through it. Um, does everything have to be unique? No, because it's entertaining and it's very well done. So I, I, where I will end up with is, if this is your kind of thing, you will like this. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. There is nothing... I can't criticize, um, I can't even criticize the production. I don't like the production, but I can't criticize it because I think it's a, a, a deliberate choice to brighten it all up. Um, but it struck me literally within about five seconds, maybe even less than that. It was like, whoa, this production's bright. I'm going to say that word until everyone's tired of it. What I do really, really like, and I like the song, that's the thing. I don't want people to go away thinking I did not like this song. I did like it. I think it's really good for what it is, which is everyone can have a good bounce around and people can all sing the chorus and it's very well done. Blah, 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 blah. All of those things that I said about it being good, it's just generic. That's the biggest problem with it. I love the album cover though. When I, I used to do photography and this is the sort of thing that I would stop and take 100 pictures of you know it's just exactly what i would have taken a picture of I'm not saying i'd have taken a good a picture as that but that's the sort of thing so I, as soon as i saw the album cover i thought oh yes that appeals to me um so there you go black lakes they've got an album for all we've left behind and that was called avarice and if you want a good jump around your kitchen it's probably the album for you let me know what you think which is my signature sign off net these days uh and I'll see you soon. Also, my signature sign-off these days. Do I have to come up with something new? Or does it matter?
Should I just... Because I always start with, Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy and this is... And maybe I should always finish with, Let me know what you think. See you soon. Because then I won't have to think about it, will I? No thinking required. I've got my finish. I've got my lead out. I know how to end the video. Or do I? Because I'm now debating it with myself. I'm going for a lie down. See you soon. Bye-bye.